Welcome to Project Me, the podcast. I'm your host, Tiffany Carter, the founder of Project Me, multimillionaire entrepreneur, former TV newscaster, money-making expert, female empowerment speaker, and self-proclaimed office supply addict. My mission is to take the mystery out of making big money. Every week on Project Me, the podcast, I'll share success tips, strategies, and stories from other entrepreneurs, experts, and millionaires, showing you exactly how you can achieve your most exceptional life. Now let's get to it. Do you want massive momentum, major money, and magnetic millionaire energy in your business and bank account? If you had an expert you trusted lay out a proven strategy for you, step by step, to get you to consistent twenty to fifty thousand dollar months without burning yourself out, would you do it? And this, my loves, is why I created the brand new, ultra exclusive. Project Me with Tiffany Carter, Mastermind Live Experience 2021. Picture two days with my crazy ass hanging out at a multi-million dollar oceanfront beach house, mapping out exactly how you will get to your next big income goal with absolute clarity. There will be VIP beach photo shoots, a sunset abundance cocktail hour, plus other luxuriating surprises. Now, this is strictly by application only, as I will be hand-selecting 15 of you who I feel are the perfect fit for this mastermind experience and will get a significant return on investment from attending. For all the details and pricing and to apply, go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind, projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind. The link is also in my bio on Instagram at projectmewithtiffany. And of course, you can DM me with any questions if you aren't 100% sure if this is the right fit for you right now. Welcome to Project Me with Tiffany Carter, the podcast and posse. I'm your host, Tiffany, and today you are getting a dose of much-needed straight-up talk so that we can shake that mind of yours awake. I do not want you falling anymore for the hype for the BS business advice being pushed out there on social media. It irritates me to no end, and why it irritates me is when there are things being pushed out there or alluded to out there on the interwebs, what happens is is it sets you up for failure because all of us by nature as humans, we want the path of least resistance. It's how we're wired. We want things the easy way. Why do you think, right? We're in a microwave society, in a convenience-based society. I mean, quite frankly, you know, we don't really need to leave our house for weeks. Everything can be delivered at a push of a button on an app now. So that is how we operate in the world. Those are the things that sound attractive to us. So this is why you get marketed to in that way to appeal to you. This is not new. This type of marketing has been going on probably for a century, but for sure decades, especially in like the health and wellness space, right? Six weeks to a six pack, lose 10 pounds in 10 days, right? We've all we've all seen that. We've most of us have fallen for it. I bought the shake weight after coming home from a club one night while probably buzzed. And then I bought some other thing. I don't know if any of you guys remember this. It was called like I think the firm. It was some kind of I mean, basically it was like oh they sold like a step with weights or something. And I was really convinced by this late night infomercial. Thank God I don't stay up late anymore because if there are late night infomercials still, are there late night infomercials still? If there, if there were, I would probably fall for it because I, I can get into a good infomercial, man. I mean, these cost a fortune to produce and they're, they're pretty damn amazing. Um, I, I bought many magazines because there was stuff on the cover of how I lost, you know, 30 pounds in six months without dieting. And I'm like, ooh, how can I do that? All this crap. This has been going on for a long time, which is why there are so many regulations 
in the health industry. And those of you who are longtime listeners know my other company I've had 14 years specializes in doing marketing in these highly regulated industries, the pharmaceutical industry, medical industry, health supplement industry. So that's why it's so strict. You can't make claims. That wasn't always the case. There, You go back and you search like ads from back in the day, like in the 60s and 70s. They're absolutely wild. You can't do that shit anymore. And I'm glad there are all these regulations now because it's it helps protect people. I mean, I bought what was that one pill that so many of us bought? It made me into like a hyper crazy bitch and very shaky. And I would take it when I was a newscaster and I remember the news director's like, I don't know what you're on, um, if it's copious amounts of coffee. Oh, it was like, fe- not Fenergan. Was it Fenergan? No, that was a prescription drug I tried. That was the, <laughs> that was, wait a second. That was the prescription drug that I tried that made your body not absorb fat and you would get anal leakage. I swear on my life. I don't think I'm getting that wrong. Any of my physicians listening, you can correct me in my DMs. I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure. And I was in the farm, you know, in the pharma world when that came out. I think I was probably like a drug rep when that came out. So I had access to it. And I remember, I actually remember, um, do you guys even want to know this story? Well, now you're going to hear it. Um, I was at La Quinta, the resort in La Quinta, California. If you've not been, it's amazing free plug to La Quinta. And they have this, you know, I love like giant salads. And there was a big salad. And of course, I put on way too much dressings. It's something I do. And I was like, Oh, I can eat this because I'm taking this Fenergan crap. And so I can eat this because any fat that's in that dressing or, you know, any of that stuff, it'll, you know, it'll be okay, because my body won't absorb it. But it's not like I'm eating a pizza. So I'm not going to get like anal leakage. Um, let me tell you, I ruined a very cute outfit and it was, um, definitely not cute. And that was the end of the Fenergan. But I'm trying to think of the other one is like Exeterine or something. It was an over the counter one. And I was lit on that. And I was, I mean, my eyes were darting all over the place. And my news director was like, no, we are not. I don't know what's going on with you. And I was like, oh, it's like a a new diet pill. Like I got it GNC. And it's like, yeah, it's not working for you. (laughs) But I bought into all of that. I mean, think of all the money that you've probably spent on stuff that gave you, you know, either it was a false claim or they alluded to a claim you know, or there was rumors it helped or there was a celebrity endorsement. We've all done it. And this is what's happening with business advice, you know, in starting your business and in growing your business and in making money online and in getting Instagram followers and TikTok views and all this stuff. People are doing the same thing with this because it works, because it appeases to our natural laziness laziness and path of least resistance as humans. So it's up to you to not fall for it. Now, some of you have innocently fallen for this shit because you don't know any different. And that's okay. I probably would have fallen for it too. So I want to let you know what not to fall for. Try not to let your ego fall for anything that sounds too good to be true. My father always said to me, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. That doesn't mean something doesn't get to be easier or helpful or save you time or effort or save you money. That's one thing, right? Where something eases a struggle you're having, where someone helps you figure something out, where someone creates something for you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this seductive illusion that you, oh, you want to grow 40,000 followers on Instagram in 45 days. How did I do it? Reels. How many of you have seen Reels obnoxiously saying that? It's not telling the whole story. It's not necessarily that that person's lying, although I can't vouch for every one of them. It's that they're not sharing the full story. Okay. 
Yes, there. I I have had a client. I've had two clients that on a absolute fluke went wildly viral. They had very highly highly niched specialties, and they happen to go viral. But it was a fluke. So there are flukes out there, right? I mean, you'll hear that in. I mean, quite frankly, network and affiliate marketing. Okay, it happens a lot in that industry. And that's why I don't stand behind a lot of those companies. There's some that I do. And I'm a big believer in having additional revenue streams. But some of those companies really, really go in on that illusion that I can just, you know, share the products a couple of times. And I'm going to use it and just like mention it to some people that I like it. And all of a sudden, I'm going to be getting trips to Paris and Louis Vuitton bags and have a laptop lifestyle from that. That's too good to be true. If it was that easy, my ass would be peddling some shit online right now for an additional revenue stream. It's not. They're not telling the full story. The full story, guess what? Involves shit that is not sexy. It involves tedious work. It involves hard work. It involves showing up regardless. It regards it it's showing up when you don't feel like it. That's not sexy. That's not as sellable. Our egos don't like that as much. But if you really want what you say you want, you don't want to depend on any person, place, job, or institution for cash. You want a financial foundation. You want to be able to travel whenever you please. You want to be able to pick whatever you want to eat every single night and not be worried about money. You want to send your kids to certain colleges or camps and not think twice about it. If you want that level of freedom in your life, don't fall for the hype because what's going to happen is you're going to buy courses and some of you have and it's okay. I'm not I'm not calling you stupid for that. It's designed to manipulate you. And I listen, I just told you the shit I've I've fallen for a lot of shit. OK, so I, I learned the hard way, too. And when people come to me and say, Tiffany, I, you know, I've spent twenty thousand dollars on coaching programs and masterminds and stuff. And in two sessions, I've learned more from you than I learned from all that. I'm so mad at myself. I can't believe I wasted that money. And I said, you know what? You had to waste that money. You had to spend that money for you to know what's out there, for you to kind of wake up and realize that there's a lot of bullshit out there and you had a role to play in it. And I did too of the stuff I fell for. I recently shared the story again. It's on Chris Harder's podcast. Um, all you have to do is search my name under his podcast and you'll hear the full story. I mean, I fell for a whole thing and lost almost a million dollars in three months because of me falling for something that sounded easy and not trusting my gut. And there's more to the more to the story than that than you can hear on on uh, on his episode. But I've fallen for it, too. So I just want to wake you up to it because it can be very easy. This is why buying followers, comments, and likes and views is a billion dollar business because it sounds easy. It appeals to the ego. Oh, well, I'll buy followers and I'll look like I have influence. And then maybe people will really see that I'm worth it and that I'm worthy of listening to because who's going to really listen to little old me who has 400 followers? I need to have more in order to get that. I'm trying to do a shortcut and bypass the fucking work. And guess what? It doesn't work like that. What happened when I took Fenergan? I shit oil in my cute white dress. <laughs> For real. I did. <laughs> and I was there with a guy. That was really fun. Um, that was not hot. All right. When you try to take shortcuts, you're going to end up shitting oil. That's the key takeaway of today. That's what's going to happen. And we all do stuff like that. We try to take shortcuts, What you, like a crash diet, uh, the whole cleanse thing. I'm going on a fucking cleanse. I'm going on a cleanse. Yeah, you are probably going to drop some weight, right? You probably are. And then what's going to happen? You're going to crave everything on the planet, stuff your face, and in a very short time, you'll gain it back, if not more. So you went for that short, quick hit. You're a lot of you are doing the same when it comes to building your business. You're looking for a shortcut. You're looking for a trick. You're looking for a hack. You're like, why is it so hard? It feels so hard because it is hard. It is hard. You should listen to my episode that 
I have if you if you haven't listened if you haven't listened to it you need to if you have listen again with my friend Candy Valentino we're both longtime entrepreneurs we both share it straight up we both both have built multiple businesses it is hard now are there a lot of things you can do to make it easy and make it fun and make it streamlined and not trade your time for money absolutely and that's something I specialize in helping you structure in scaling your business because without having passive income streams and your offers and your business structured in a certain way, you're you're not going to really be able to get past that $250,000, $300,000 mark. You're only going to get so far. And some of you won't even get there because you, you might already be feeling burnt out. And because we all have different levels of energy, we have different levels of willpower, and that doesn't make you weak. We just all have different circumstances and stressors in our life. So that stuff's absolutely necessary. The shortcut is learning from someone who's fucked up many times, who's had a ton of wins, and who actually has figured out a proven profitable strategy that can be customized to you and your business. It is not a one size fits all, which is why these magical courses and these magical programs that sound so great and it sounds like just the thing you need. It's not to say there's not amazing, valuable information in those, but it's not, it's a, they can only teach a one size fits all approach. Same with my programs and same with my courses. I can't customize it to each person in there. That's called private coaching right? That's called private business consulting. I can't customize it for each person in there. I can do that in a live mastermind setting where we keep it very intimate, which by the way, is here and ready for you to look at the details and see if you are a good fit to apply. So it's going to be by application only because I'm hand curating who's in here, who's in the room. This will be held in my baller babe beach pad in Manhattan Beach, California, which is right on the ocean front. All the details are in the sign up page and the pricing's in there. I've made payment plans as well for you guys. And the reason I'm curating it is it wouldn't be right to have people who are just beginning, who haven't made a dollar in their business yet, or who want to start a business, and then have someone in the room who's making, you know, $25,000 a month, right? That's, that's not fair. And that's a problem with a lot of masterminds out there is they'll take people regardless of their level as long as they've paid. And then it ends up not feeling right. So there's a absolute max of 15 people. We're keeping it that small. One, it's not like this is a 6,000 square foot place. Number two, this is an intimate live two-day mastermind where I'm bringing my fellow Project Me certified coaches and some special guest experts. Predominantly, you're going to be learning from me and you're walking away with absolutely knowing how to do certain things in your business, how to scale it, how to structure your offers so they sell, how to do offer stacking so you have passive income offers and active offers so it actually feels good to you and your business isn't draining you, how to have your content, whether that be email, whether that be video, whether that be posts, how you have your content selling for you so you don't have to, and of course, teaching you how to sell, which is what most people avoid because they, they don't want to sell, doesn't feel good to them. It doesn't sound fun. Well, guess what? You, you, don't, you can't be a successful entrepreneur and not know how to market yourself effectively and sell your business, but it has to be in a way that feels good to you and your ideal client or it won't work. All this is going down inside the Project Me with Tiffany Carter Mastermind 2021. You can get the details at projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind. Projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind. Read through it. See if you're a good fit. If you're not sure, apply. If you are sure, apply. If you know you're not, make sure you really know you're not and you're just, it's not fear talking, you know? I'll tell you this, if you've if you've not started your business yet at all, that's not a good fit for you. You should be in my posse membership instead. If you're only making like, you know, $1000 here and there in your business, this is not this is not a good fit for you. So you'll see all that 
on the page. Very exciting stuff. All right. So let's talk more about this BS advice. There is this illusion out there that, oh, I, I'm making all of this money and I only post when it feels aligned and I only make offers when it's aligned. And if it's, I show up when I feel like it and when I don't, I don't have to. I only work an hour a day. Now, I call bullshit on that. I, I absolutely call bullshit on that. Can you work an hour a day if you have a team of 10 people helping you? Mm, perhaps, perhaps. Um, last time I checked, uh, Rihanna and Kim Kardashian are not working an hour a day. Just think about it rationally because this illusion, they might not even be saying it, but they're alluding to it, right? Like, oh, I just, you know, I travel all the time and I, you know, I'm barely working. But meanwhile, they're always, they're always selling something, right? Meanwhile, they're spending $150,000 a week in Facebook ads that you're not aware of because they're not targeting their current art audience. They're targeting a new audience. So you're not aware that they're even doing it or they're on, they're doing ads on YouTube or they're doing ads on Pinterest, which is great and fine and a great funnel, but they're not giving you the full story. Maybe they have a hookup. Maybe they have a couple close friends in the industry in their same industry that are feeding them clients that are giving them a lot of shout outs. Maybe they have great sweat equity built in and their husband or their wife works for their business. And then they have another person in their family doing sweat equity in their business. And they have all this help that you don't. Here's why it pisses me off for you guys is because then when you start going to scale your business, you start wondering, why isn't this working for me, but it's working for this person and this person and this person that I see online. It's so easy for them and not me. Maybe I'm not meant to do this. Maybe I'm not capable. Maybe I'm not cut out for it. Maybe people don't like me. And it really ignites all that stuff within you. No, let's think of another possibility that's much more likely. Maybe they're not giving you the full story. Maybe they're not painting the full picture because they have their own stuff that they know. It's very alluring to be able to, how do I say this? It's It can be very tempting and alluring to sell and market your stuff in a way where it sounds really easy and effort effortless and flowy and abundant um, because it's an easy sell. It's a much easier sell. If I sold you guys on that way, without a doubt, I'd probably triple or quadruple my sales. But because I keep it so real and I tell you what's required, there's a lot of people who are like, who end up going and buying from Polly the influencer who makes it look easy oh, she must know a different way because it just seems like easier and it's, it feels better on my nervous system and it, and it feels nicer. And then what happens is they spend all this money with someone else who's not giving the full story. It's not working for them. And then they come back to me and say, oh my God, I've wasted like $10,000. None of it worked. I didn't make a dime, blah, blah, blah. I don't want that for you. But you have to take responsibility and ownership of your side, just as I do to this day for losing almost every fucking penny I earned and saved that million dollars that was gone in three months. I had to take ownership of my part. I didn't listen to my gut instincts that were screaming at me. I just didn't. Um, I didn't know what I didn't know as being far too trusting. And I wanted to believe what he was saying because it sounded easier. It sounded good. Why do you think people like Bernie Madoff, the biggest Ponzi scheme in the world, why do you think that worked? That worked on some of the most intelligent, successful people in the entire world. It's because we are human. We're fallible. It worked on Steven Spielberg. It worked on Tom Hanks. These people all fell for it. I think even, I think there's some other big, big names. Not I think, I know that fell for it because it's, it, we can say it's greed, but it's also like, oh, it's easy money. Oh, I can get like a 20% return or a 15% return. One of the things this guy said to me, this quote unquote financial guy, it was like a 12% return. If someone's telling you there's a guaranteed return of even 
even 7%. That's mm, 7% would still raise my spidey senses. Okay. Because guess what? If there's a guaranteed return of 7%, my ass is going to the bank and getting as many loans as possible and putting all the money into that thing to get 7% back. If someone tells you, oh, there's a guarantee you are going to sell X many of your courses by, by following my Facebook and Instagram ad strategy, or they might not use the word guarantee because they don't want to get sued but they allude to it. And then your mind goes, oh, okay, so I just need to learn this and run ads and it's going to happen. And then you learn all the ad stuff. That's great. And then nothing sells because there's a lot more to it than that. If you don't have a product that speaks exactly to your ideal client and is packaged in the exact way your ideal client wants it, and you have zero testing of your own organic messaging and marketing and profitable content, and just because you put money on Facebook ads, you think that that's the shortcut. See, you have to own that part. You thought that was a shortcut. I can just do ads. And if I spend 100 bucks on ads, but I make, you know, $200 for every 100 I spend, that's a no brainer. Think of it logically, because they're trying to appeal to your like lazy brain, to your ego, to the path of least resistance, to you not wanting to do the work. Think of it logically. If it was that great, I wouldn't even, I'd be still doing this podcast because this is something I, you know, listen, I don't get paid to do this fucking show. This costs money. I love it. And I love you guys. And, and this is my part of my way of giving back. Plus, I apparently really enjoy talking to myself. So there's that. But if you had that kind of return off Facebook, Instagram ads, my entire business model would be pouring as much money as possible into those ads. There is no guarantees in advertising. There are a lot of things you can do in business to hedge your bet, to hedge things in your favor without a doubt. And there's still no guarantees. Not everything people touch turns to gold. I don't care if you have multiple Harvard degrees. If you're one of the most brilliant minds in the world, doesn't matter to me. Not everything Mark Cuban touches turns to gold. Not everything Oprah touches turns to gold. By the way, if you haven't noticed, she has a whole, she had a whole line of food products, like uh, diet meals and shit in the store. That was a total fucking flop and it's Oprah. All right. But you know, that shit doesn't make the press. Take a trip to the 99 cent store. I do this I do this sometimes and I share it in my Instagram stories. I call it the land of the misfit products. These are major corporations that my other company works with. Nabisco, Kraft, Procter and Gamble. You will see crazy flavors of Cheez-Its, of Oreos, of cereal that they did tons of market research. They did everything they could to hedge their bet to be successful. And it still wasn't a winner. You are not everything you touch is going to turn to gold. I don't care who you are. And so if someone's painting a picture that it's like all they have are wins and all the post-its on the wall and all that shit, and you're never hearing them uh, give any real talk about, and I don't mean one day where they have like a very orchestrated meltdown. And we're like, it's hard, but I, you know, I did a cleanse and an Epsom salt bath and now I'm fine. I'm talking people who really share their mistakes and share them a little more in real time. I try to do a good job of that with you guys, not like years after the fact, because that's not very vulnerable to do it years after the fact, right? It's, it's much more vulnerable for me to share in real time. Oh, well, this launch didn't really go as expected. Here's what happened. Here's what I learned so that you guys can learn from it in real time. So I hope this, I hope this did burst your bubble. I just wanted it to wake you up because I don't want you wasting money on stuff and thinking it's going to get you something that it's not. You are going to have to put in the sweat equity to your dream. There is no way about, around it. And if you aren't excited and willing and humble to put in the sweat equity into your dream, into building your financial foundation for yourself, for your family, if you're not really willing to do it and even excited to do it, now, not every day you're going to be excited to do it. 
But if you're not excited most of the time to do it and humble and willing to do it, then this isn't your dream. You're following something that you think is going to get you money or that someone told you would work. You're not actually following your thing. You're, you're not. And it won't work. It won't work because as soon as it gets hard and it doesn't work, you'll be out. So I really want you to think about that because I show up regardless. I, do, did I want to record this today? I'm recording this on a Friday. I'm looking at my pool while I'm recording this. Um, and I would rather be chilling by the pool having a rosé, quite frankly, even though I love you guys and I love this podcast and I value you and respect you and you guys deserve the best and get it. But I mean, I'm lazy. I'd rather be luxuriating, chilling, you know, staring at a blank wall. This was a wild week. I'd rather be doing that. But I am humble and willing and excited to show up regardless, even on my bad days, because that is how much I believe in my dream. And if you don't have that same feeling of willingness to put in that sweat equity, this is not this is not your thing. Mike, my fiance, he works for Tesla, he designs the interiors. And I can say this because it's been publicly stated before. Elon Musk is worth, he's a freaking multi-billionaire. Elon Musk works 12 hours a day and he will sleep in that facility when there is a new car build or a new thing going on. I'm not saying you have to go that far with it, but that's someone who really believes in that sweat equity and that mission more than anything. And you, he, you can say what you want about that guy, but he wants it that badly. So I just, you need to check in with yourselves. How badly do you want it? And stop trying to look for the easy way out. Looking for the easy way out will end up costing you the most time, energy, and money in the long run. Wishing you guys great health, wealth, and worth as always. I love you. And remember, for Virgo season, you go leave a five-star written podcast review on Apple, on Apple, aka iTunes, and leave your name and your Instagram handle in the review and then come over to Instagram, DM me, let me know you left a review, preferably include a screenshot so we don't have to go search for your damn review. I'm going to give you a $10 gift card to get your beverage of choice so we can say a virtual happy birthday. Cheers. This is my way of spreading the abundance for me saying thank you for being such great listeners and for you thanking me and saying happy birthday. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this podcast, please write a five-star review on iTunes. Not only will this make me super happy, but it will allow more listeners to find our special show. Simply help me help others.